Hey guys, um, <clears throat> this is Animal Clendor, continuing the month of anime. So, coming in at number nine, we have uh, Kotoro-san. Um, this anime is kind of recent. Um, came out, uh, I don't remember, like, late 2012, early 2013 or something. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's not that, it's not that old. Um, it's one of the more recent ones, but I just enjoy it so much. Um, it has great, it has great characters, great story, great animation, Great animation. It's actually one of those cutesy animes, which I normally can't stand. Um, but this is one of the few exceptions. This is one of the few times when I'm actually enjoying one of those cutesy animes where all the characters I just adore, adorably, disgustingly adorable. It's just, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those. Um, so what's the story? Uh... The title character, Kotoro-san, is a psychic, and she she goes through um, the first few years of her life um, uh, <clears throat> causing trouble for other causing trouble for others. She doesn't know she's causing them trouble because um, she doesn't know that what she's hearing are their thoughts. She doesn't know that she's a psychic. So she's revealing things that she thinks that they're okay with having revealed. Um, and it's just, it's just uh, constantly going wrong. Her, her parents end up getting, getting the divorce. Her mom leaves her uh, <clears throat> at her grandpa's house and wish it, and tells her that she wishes she had never given birth to her. And she, then she find and then she finds a stray cat on the street and she decides to take care and she decides to take care of it and bring it food every day and it's the only thing bringing her comfort because she can't read its mind and it can't uh, reject her and then one day and then one day she finds out that the cat was taken to the vet to be put down And the music just builds, and she just looks up into the sky and just cries, and oh, it is the saddest thing I have ever seen. Oh, it was so depressing. I just wanted to reach in there, pull, pull her out, and just hold her. Oh, it was so sad. <laughs> um... And and so now she's entering uh, <clears throat> high school, and dang cat. Anyway, Izzy, come on, come on, yes, sir. Anyway, so. So yeah, so she enters high school and she meets <clears throat> she meets a boy named Manabe, and um, he actually thinks it's pretty cool that she has psychic powers. Um, and 
yeah, the rest of the series is pretty much just her um, trying to get friends and trying to be accepted even with her psychic powers. Um, <clears throat> and she ends up having a bit of a romance with uh, Manabe, but I think it's done well. Um, my favorite character in the series is a girl named Moritani, because throughout the whole series, she's the one who has the most character development. She starts off being this just jealous, this, like, one of the popular girls. She just gets so jealous of Kotura because Manade is paying attention to her, to Kotura instead of to her. And, but she eventually becomes friends with Kotora, and they joke around, they laugh together, they cry together. Um, <clears throat> I really enjoy seeing Moritani and her character development. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite character. Great anime, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, it only has an English subversion uh, at this point. Um, I don't know if it's going to get an English dub release. Uh, I hope so. Because um, I'm curious who would uh, voice these characters. But, but yeah, so, um, so, 9.5 out of 10, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it I got for this one. I'll be putting up, uh, my next one here in a few minutes, so I will see you then. Take care.